for Lewiston and Freiburg's at 25. So those are the cold spots. Everyone else right around the freezing mark. Maybe some frost. A few towns still have a breeze, so it feels like the 20s in Bangor and also in Portland, even though it's above 30 right now. Some patchy clouds overhead. High pressure is going to give us some bright start here with some sunshine, but then this high drifts back up to the north and clouds return. Next system moving in with some rain because the track is going to go north of us. So we'll be on the mild side of things with this one. Very little, if any, snowfall. There'll be a few snow showers in the mountains. That is it. A quiet morning with lots of sun. Cold out there with a little bit of wind, too. Midday, clouds are increasing. Sun is fading away. There may be some halos around the sun because some of these clouds will be thin cirrus clouds. It'll be seasonably cool but calm for the middle of the day. And then mostly cloudy skies heading through the evening. Dry. Showers will be moving in during the overnight, and as you can see, it's mostly wet here. A little bit of pink and white up in the mountains, a little blue up there too. Commuters, heads up, it will be dark by 5 o'clock now. So your commute, usually in the light, will now be in the dark, and that's a little more challenging, so keep that in mind. Southeast breeze, 5 to 10 miles per hour, normal highs above 50, not getting there. High of only 42 in Bangor, 44 in Augusta and Lewiston and 45 degrees in Portland, so a chilly day. Tomorrow we reverse it though, back up to around 60 as the low goes to our north. We'll have some rain showers around, especially in the morning hours. In the afternoon, we're gonna try to clear out a little bit. It'll be breezy, but it will be brighter and a little warmer with temperatures around 60 and then sharply colder again. So that warm up is a brief one. We turn colder back into the 40s on Wednesday that cold is a little more dense here for the end of the week, and our next system is going to come at us in two pieces. Really weak, both of them, but the first one comes through on Thursday. There's a chance for some snow showers or rain showers because of that cold. That one goes by. Second one comes through on Friday. There may be some flurries around, especially up in the mountains. There's not a lot here to work with, but It'll be just cold enough and just enough moisture for some of us to see our first flakes of the season. Snowfall accumulation from tonight and tomorrow up in the mountains. Some coatings, maybe a little tracking snow for you. And then for the end of the week, you can see a little bit more, maybe some coatings elsewhere. Just the sighting of a few snowflakes will be sort of exciting and, um, you know, a sign of things to come, I guess. Gale watches are up late tonight and tomorrow. Seas 2 to 3, northeast wind 5 to 10, gusting to 20 knots. So there you go, sun fading away today. High temperatures in the 40s. Tomorrow's going to be up around 60. It'll be wet in the morning, but we'll dry out in the afternoon, breezy. Wednesday, bright but brisk. Temperatures drop again. Thursday's chilly, near 40 degrees, with a chance for rain or snow showers. And then it looks fine going into the weekend, seasonably cold in the 40s, uh, but not much going on at all. Mm. So even the two systems we get this week are really weak. Even mm -hmm. if they do show us our first snowflakes of the season, it's not going to be a yeah. big deal. You have a mix of everything coming up There's this week. There's a lot going on this week, yeah, Thank but you, it's Tom. nothing major. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Sure.